world. Besides that overcast sky that we've been dealing with most of this afternoon, temperatures have been nice in the upper 70s to low 80s across the region, so around 5 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. And here's that look at the Savannah River where we're still dealing with that overcast sky. A little bit breezy conditions at times with that wind out of the south that's helping to get our temperatures above normal for this time of year. We're at 79 here in Savannah, 66 for Hilton Head, so a little bit cooler right along the coastline. 71 at the moment in Beaufort, 80 degrees though still in Richmond Hill, Hinesville as well coming in at 80 degrees. Now we are tracking a slow moving cold front. It's going to be moving through as we go through the overnight period. You can see that well off to the north and west here. Otherwise, we are dry on Storm Team 3 Viper Radar. That will change, as I said, as we go throughout the later, later overnight period. There's our cold front that is off to our west. A few storms becoming strong to severe along that leading edge of the cold front. However, it will start to lose its severe characteristics as it gets closer into our region. We'll just be tracking mainly some passing showers and maybe some gusty winds at times as well as that cold front moves its way through. So going through the next couple of hours, again, that rain chance increases past dinner time and just before midnight is when we expect that cold front to move through. Temperature wise will be in the 70s really up until that cold front as it passes through will quickly drop down into the 60s and then eventually the 50s as we head to around one or two in the morning. Still dealing with that mostly cloudy sky and that will continue as we head into the morning hours of your day tomorrow. But timing things out again as we get to around seven, eight o'clock, that's when we're going to start to see the first showers push its way through the western parts of our region. And again, it will be weakening as it heads throughout the area and closer to the coastline, running into a much more stable air mass. So that'll help to weaken those storms. Just dealing with some passing showers by around nine, ten o'clock. And then around midnight, we should be all said and done. Maybe a few lingering showers hours, but overall we'll be on a drying trend as we go throughout the day for your Thursday. That northerly wind is going to start us out cool temperatures in the 40s, 50s right along the coastline. Then as we head into the afternoon, really not going to be warming up much upper 50s to lower 60s for those afternoon highs. So that will be around 5 to 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. Still dealing with that northerly wind and we'll have that cloud cover in place as well out ahead of our next chance for rain that looks to impact us late Thursday into the day on Friday. Another system working its way through this time, a coastal system north of I-16 for the early morning hours of your Friday could see the first rounds of some showers and it becomes a little bit more widespread as we head through the late morning and into the afternoon. Some rounds of heavy rain could certainly be possible at times, but at least for those rain chances, we'll, they'll be sticking with us as we head throughout the weekend and into next week's way. What stretch of weather is on the way? That marine forecast sees four to six feet gusty out there on the waters upwards of 30 knots. We do have gale warnings in effect as well as small craft advisories as well. Tonight we'll be down into the 40s and 50s along the coastline. Tomorrow, cool day, temperatures in the lower 60s. And then for that seven day forecast, again, we'll be keeping that chance of rain with us as we end this week into the weekend. All right, chance of rain, but mild. Yes, that's for sure. We like it. Thanks yeah. so much. Coming up.